Managing Director of Optical Care uh, Cancer Foundation, Femi Olale, has accused his estranged wife, Remy, of deception and infidelity, saying these caused many problems in their marriage of 12 years. They have two children aged 10 and 8. Dr. Olale opened his testimony in his alleged defilement trial at the Lagos State Sexual Offences and Domestic Violence Court sitting in Ikeja. We have more in this report. Dr. Olale was led in evidence by his counsel, Babatunde Ogala, a senior advocate of Nigeria. The defendant who appeared before Justice Ramon Oshudi alleged that his wife lied about possessing two university degrees and that she had extramarital affairs. Mrs. Olaleye is the complainant in the much publicized trial, having filed a complaint to authorities that he defiled her niece, names withheld, who was underaged and living with them at the time. But while denying the defilement allegations, Dr. Olaleye says his wife brought the alleged survivor from Sapele to their home without his knowledge and consent. The pathologist and entrepreneur said she lived with his family from November 2019 to November 2021. He also told the court that he shared the same bedroom with his wife on the second floor of their two-story building and had 16 closed-circuit television cameras installed in the house. Responding to the charges filed against him, he told the court he had a violent fight with his wife on November 27 of 2021 over her insistence that her name be put on the title documents of their home, which he refused. This led to him leaving the house angrily. The defendant also told the court that he returned home in the evening and met his wife and her aunt Tessie discussing in their native language, which he didn't understand. According to him, the divisional police officer of the Anthony police station invited him the next day for questioning. And when told of the allegations, he says he denied them but was detained for six days as the officer told him the alleged offense wasn't bailable. On December 19, 2022, Bremiola Leia told the court that her husband was diagnosed with sex addiction and that her niece confessed to her aunt that her husband initially introduced her to pornography. According to her, the survivor said the defendant had been abusing her sexually since March 2020. The alleged offenses violate sections 137 and 261 of the criminal laws of Lagos State 2015. He risks life imprisonment if found guilty. Justice Oshodi adjourned the case until May the 22nd. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.